Hi everyone, it's Stephanie with My Data Tips. Today I wanted to do a quick tutorial on a how-to tip on merging two or more columns together using an, using an Excel function. And today it will be a concatenate function. And so what you're seeing on my screen here is basically a, a finished product. So what you see in columns F with the green column called final result, and also in column L, which is also labeled with final result, that is all keyed and developed based on a formula. So let's go ahead and wipe this information out and start from scratch. So what we want to do is um, select this insert function key and look for the concatenate function. Um, an easy way to find all the C's, which obviously concatenate starts with a C, we want to go ahead and put your cursor in any area of the, the menu and hit the C key. And what that will do is give us an easy way to get to the concatenate function. So this looks about right. Let's go ahead and click about this new version of Excel, which again is 2007. You can see the the output there. So what you're what we're hoping to see is John A. Davis minus all these little quotes here. It's just part of just writing a formula. So let's hit OK. So voila, we've got the output where we wanted to list out first name, middle name, and last name. So from here, let's just go ahead and copy this formula all the way through to the end of our data. So obviously, everyone should have that basic concept or understanding of how to copy um, information. So you could do one of two ways. You can use a copy and then paste all the way down to the last row, or you can use this drag, drag feature and drag the formula all the way down. So in the last um, half of the example, I want to go ahead and do the same type of formula, but trying to organize the data from month, day, and year, and put that in a sequential order. So I'm going to do a quick shortcut. So I'm just going to copy what's in F5, paste the same formula in L5, which is basically a control V if you're using shortcuts. But unfortunately, this is not how I want my data to show. I want it to obviously be, again, month, day, and then year. So these are just some easy, quick changes that we could do here on the formula bar. So let's go ahead and change the J to an I, which again, I is referencing the day field. And then the I, let's change that to a J, which would reference the year field. So now everything is in the order that I want, month, day, and year. Let's go ahead and drag the formula all the way down. And then here you have it, just a quick and easy shortcut on basically concatenating multiple um, fields or columns into to one. So hopefully you find this tutorial helpful. For more information, feel free to visit my um, channel, youtube.com, My Data Tips. Otherwise, you can definitely leave a comment or provide me feedback if you have any other questions or would like to see more videos of this nature. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.